Hello, and welcome to Bees and Tea Stitching. I'm your host, Sebastian, and uh, we have Selena over here. Uh, it just occurred to me uh, this week that I had been forgetting to put B and B scoring you up, so I have my two little bee buddies up here too. So, welcome. Uh, hello to anybody who might be new. Uh, welcome back to all you guys who have been here before. I always appreciate you guys. Um, no matter how many times you've seen me, uh, this is the first or the hundredth. Which is kind of scary because there has been over a hundred. But anyway, um, so yeah, um, this is my um, my floss tube. So it'd be stitching and uh, haul and cats and whatever other stuff comes to mind. So, but uh, but yeah, so let me go ahead and get started. Um, usually I start with my um, any sort of life updates. Really not much going on this week. Um, as I had said um, last week, I think um, I had gone to a, a wake Saturday, which was which was really nice. Um, and so, oh, something's got your attention. What is it? Hmm? Anyway, so um, uh, that was that was really nice. You know, it was sad, of course, but it was really sweet and really fun, and um, fun in the way that you know you get to have funny stories about the person, which was really nice. And I did get to see some people who I hadn't seen in a very long time, which was very cool. Uh, I hate that that was the reason why they were down here, but, you know, it's that's how life is. So, um, other than that, really not much has been going on. I haven't done a whole lot of sewing this week. Um, I've been kind of on a Lego kick. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but there is a Lego Atari 2600 that I just finished last night at, like, I don't know, like 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, and it's really, really cool. I will try to remember to take pictures, although, honestly, I'm terrible about that. Um, so we'll see. Also, oh, it's actually looking kind of nice right now. So, um, because we had to get some milk for a, um, um, for something we were making, um, and we also needed honey for it, which I already have. I'm going to do something I've never done before. And this is very English. Um, it is PG Tips, which is just the basic... It's just a basic builder's tea from England with no sugar. It's honey and milk. Like 2% milk. So we'll see. I've never tried this before with uh, honey instead of sugar. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. It definitely gives it a different flavor. Hmm. Interesting. It's not as sweet, even though honey is awful sweet. Um, I don't think I put as much honey in there as I put, um, as I usually put in sugar, because I usually put more than I should. Um, but to kind of get that tanginess in the honey, um, I have a local honey which the plan originally was to get a local honey, eat it every day, and hopefully that'll help with, um, um, it's supposed to help with, um, allergies and such, but I have not been doing that, so, um, but it is a local, local honey for my state, um, and it is very good, I mean, it's just, you know, it's the basic honey, it's nothing particularly, um, different about it, but, um, let's let me try it one more time because I'm I'm trying to decide what I think about it because you can definitely like the sugar kind of dissolves so you get the sweetness but not the actual sugary taste um, just the sweetness but with the honey you get the actual honey taste mm. now I've had builders tea with milk before so that's not the milk isn't the issue it's it's the honey hmm interesting Interesting. I'll have to get used to it a little bit, but I do like it. Anyway, so, um, all right, so let me go ahead and go to the comments. Um, this is probably going to be a pretty short week again. There's, uh, no haul. I'm going to have a ton of haul next week, um, because all the stuff from Expo has come in, and, um, I have not been there the last two weeks, so I haven't been at my LNS to, to buy anything, um, and so, I'm going to be picking up all of those, um, 
all the stuff that came in from Expo, plus paying for, there's a, I think I've talked about it before, there's a, um, we're going to have a retreat in November, I believe? I think it's early November. So, um, like a Christmas-themed um, retreat. So, um, I will not be... No, absolutely. No, it's in October, I believe. I believe it's in October. Anyway. Um, so, um, so yeah. Um, that'll be fun. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, anyway, so, um, I'll be putting out a good bit of money for my, uh, LNS next week, and, um, I'll have some stuff to show you for sure. Anyway, so let me go ahead and get to the, uh, comments. Um, uh, so, stitching button just gave me a, uh, a heart, a teacup, and a heart, so, uh, hi, uh, hope you're having a good week, uh, don't drink too much coffee, I know that's kind of impossible for you, that's like saying too much, don't drink too much tea for me, so, you know, uh, Debbie Sisk said, um, random thought, haven't seen the Betty White piece in a while, Have, did you finish it or just put it up for a while, um, it has just been pushed to the side, it's, it's not finished, um, I just had a bunch of other things that kind of caught my attention, and so I haven't worked on it, but please, please, please keep bugging me about it to work on it because it really does need some love. It's not that huge. I, I think honestly, if I <coughs> excuse me, if I put a little effort, I could probably get it finished. It's about I don't know. I'm trying to remember correctly, like a quarter or a third done. So you know, it's it's not it's a decent size, but it's it's not any sort of really full coverage, so, um, I don't think it would be all that hard to finish. The, um, not gonna lie, the, the border is a bit tough, uh, you kind of have to be, you have to kind of pay attention. It's a pattern, but you can still very easily, I've messed it up a few times, so, that may be part of what's going on, you know, maybe I got kind of burnt out on the, on the outside of it a little bit, even though I've done some of the inside too. But, we'll see. But, yeah, please keep bugging me about it, please. Uh, Michelle Bendy said, said some art, so art back. I um, hope you have an awesome stitch of week. Just stay awesome. Um, I really need to catch up on your stuff. So, you know, forgive me for, for being way behind on videos. Um, and Healing Gamer says, uh, That's Where the Love Goes sounds like the name of a 70s song. I mean, I do have kind of a weird thing for 70s uh, folk songs. Um... I mean, my parents listened to a lot of folky and 70s stuff, you know, like John Denver and, um, I know Neil, I'm not, these aren't folky, but Neil Diamond and, um, oh, what's his name? The one who did America by Don McLean, um, and that sort of stuff. So, you know, I kind of have a, a history of that. Um, LOL, I need to get that tiki pattern. I need to see if it's still available to purchase. Yes, it is, absolutely. I, I did check. Um, um, one thing about Eden Circles, as far as I know, they don't really seem to retire patterns, uh, which is really good. I, I'm glad of that. Um, so, you know, I don't think it would be hard to find it at all. Um, I did look at a couple places. Um, it should be down in my description. I have... A list of the things that um, I'm working on and the tiki will be in there and that link as far as I know still works um, so uh, I would definitely recommend it it's fun um, you really have to pay a lot of attention when you're doing like the outlines of the tiki's because you really can't count wrong um, it's um, everything is symmetrical and it it fits together very specifically um, so, you know, you can't really do it and be talking to someone else, but, um, it's still really fun. It's still really easy. I've got it done pretty quickly. So, you know, even with that little caveat, I would still very highly recommend it. It's a very, very fun piece to, uh, stitch. So, um, yeah, that's it for the, uh, for the comments there. All right. So now, um... As, as usual, there are no new starts, um, no finishes, no FFOs, but I do have to say that I have sent off my, um, the five little ornaments, little Halloween ornaments, to Oliver, um, 
for for FFOing. And I know he, he received them, so um, I think his turnaround time is usually a couple of weeks. Um, so I'm really looking forward to uh, getting those back. Um, yep, so when those come back in, they will be FFOs. They won't be my FFOs. Like, I didn't I didn't finish fully finish them. Um, but they will be fully finished, and there will be five of them. So look forward to that maybe the next few weeks. Um, maybe before October, we'll see. Um, I'm obviously not rushing him at all. It's, you know, I have a little Halloween tree that I'd like to get up before Halloween. Um, and I wanted those to be, like, a part of it. But if it doesn't happen this year, it doesn't happen this year. I'm really not, it's really not a big concern of mine. So, um, yeah. So that's about that. Um, I've got three to show you. Yeah, three to show you. So, yeah, this probably will be a pretty short video. Um, holy moly, I'm only at 11 minutes so far. Yeah, this might be a, this might be a super short for you guys. But, let me go ahead and show you guys what I got. So, this is the Ink Circle Tiki that I was talking about. So, come on, tell me that is not cool. There you go, now you're focusing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So... And I am doing it with all the, um, all the colorful colors. Whoops, let me pull these things. Eh, well, okay, that's, that'll work, I guess. Alright. So, and I apologize, the sun is coming in and out of the clouds, so. Uh, is that what you're looking at, too? You're looking at the sun? Hmm? Wait, can I get some, ooh, chin scratches. Chin scratches. Okay, anyway. So. Um, this is what I've got so far. So, I've got the first two tiki's done. About halfway down in the third tiki. And then this is all the outline at the bottom. Now, there are some flowers over here that don't have a brown outline. So, I am almost done. And you can actually, you can actually see the, um, brown and green in the, it's timber, I believe. Um, so yeah, it, this is actually a pretty decent video. You can see the variegation of the color. But um, really all I've done is just kind of gone across and started down here. So I really didn't get much done on that. Once I finished my um, uh, Atari last night, I did about maybe half hour work of, half hours worth of work on, on that one. So, not a whole, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, sorry, just got a bug that flew on me. Um, so not a whole lot of work on that one. And this one, I don't remember where I was last time, but I am 99.9% .9 sure that it is further than I had, uh, showed you last time. So, let's see if I can find my, uh, oh, okay, it isn't here. Where are you? Oh, there it is. Okay. I will find it eventually. So, this is Modern Full of Embroidery, Move Forward in Love, Pride Cell 2022. I had really hoped that I was going to get this done toward Pride Month, but no. <laughs> that did not happen. But yeah, I mean, this is just so pretty. And man, I've seen some amazing finishes on this one. With all sorts of different fabrics and different colors. There is a, um, like a one color version of this. Um, and I've seen people do... Um, kind of variegation, uh, variations where they're doing, like, partially one color and, like, maybe do all, like, do everything else out here in one color and do this, um, in the, you know, in the full colors. Um, this is mostly the called for, except for the border and the outlines here. Those are my own things. So, um, last I, I finished... I finished the purple, I finished love, so I did this whole, um, I did the love and then the blue in the background where the love is, and then I was coming down here and starting that motif. So, that's where I am right now. Uh, I really wanted to do this motif so I could make sure that I get the, um, spacing right for going up, because I had started this one. And I think I was one off. So that's why I'm doing this one in the corner. So I can finish off this, um, 
this border as well. So there you go. So I got my nice rainbowy border here. Uh, all the all the red, yellow, blue, you know, all those are all the calls for us as well, just DMCs. Um, but yeah, so that is looking good. Again, I don't think that was a whole lot of work. I think I just finished the the love and that corner from the last time you guys saw it. Um, but um, definitely getting that worked on. I mean, it really just with just having the motifs left. I'm so glad I finally got that giant plant. Uh, spot in the middle done because it was fun but man it was tedious at times um but yeah just having that one border and the um um the little motifs to do I mean if I sat down and worked on it I don't really think it would take all that long I mean if I worked on it alone I bet you I could get it done this week what's Something's got you. Something keeps getting your attention. Anyway, so, uh, but yeah, so, I might, because I, I'm really kind of itching for finishes, which is why I've been working on the Tiki and the Move Forward, because they don't have a whole heck of a lot. Once I get that outline done for the Tiki, doing the stuff in the middle is not going to take that long at all, I don't think. Um, the worst thing I think is going to be the, um, um, the, they have some flowers on the side, so I think those are going to be the hardest to do. But yeah, the just the random fill in is going to be like super easy, I think. All right, the last one, which I most definitely got the most worked on with my old yellowing paper. I think this is some of the old paper my dad gave me from. I believe it was some job that he probably had like thirty years ago. I'm not kidding. I think he might actually have some paper, or maybe 40, that might be almost as old as me. But anyway, this is Long Dog, You Belong to Me. And once again, still working up here. I'm getting really, really close to finishing this this corner. You know, I've, I've talked about trying to finish this corner before, but I'm actually really getting there. I sat down a couple of nights and... Hold on, let me put this back through so you guys won't. There we go. So thread won't be in the way. There we go. Okay, that's much better. Alright, so. Ta-da! So last time, I just had this little bit of this tree palm done. So I did all the rest of that palm, all of this palm, all of this palm, and now I am working up the tree. Oh yeah, and this little um, fly or butterfly or bee or whatever it is. So yeah, that is all I've got done. Like the vast majority of this tree here. Um, but yeah, and then, like I said, this is all i got left. I mean, it's pretty solid. There's a lot of stitching in there. It's not something I can just finish in an evening. Um, but once again, if I... If I just worked on this, I think maybe for two or three nights, um, I could probably get a page finish there. And that would be one third of the way done, I believe. Because I believe it's four o'clock across and three down, if I remember correctly. Uh, also, because I decided that, you know, I don't have enough to do. I'm also trying to learn the ukulele. I don't have any... Um, I don't have any songs done yet. I do know a couple chords. Like that's C. And then this is G, I think. And those two are two of the three that you can learn to do You're My Sunshine. So I don't really have anything I can show you guys yet on that. Oh, and um, if you're wondering, this is a little tuner up at the top, so... I can keep it in tune. This is very cheap ukulele, and it doesn't really like to stay in tune. I just tuned it last night, so it sounds pretty good. Um, I'll tell you right now, this is the best 10 bucks I ever spent. Seriously. This thing, this thing is great. Um, but yeah, so, you know, who knows? Maybe I'll actually be able to play you guys a tune on the ukulele, but I wouldn't promise anything, because, you know, I don't know if I'll stick with it. I hope I'll stick with it, but I might or might not. 
Um, all right. Boy, this is going to be super short. So, and I'm not going to try to pat it out. Because um, I have no, like I said, I have no um, haul this week. I'm trying to think. No, nothing came in this week. Because I already showed you guys the um, the um, Fortnite fabric I, I got last week. So that's good. Um, yeah, so there's nothing. I was trying to think if I got anything else. But no, I haven't really been out much this week. So I haven't traveled to, uh, to Michael's and gotten anything there. Or, well, got the hiccups now. Uh, or anything like that. So, all right. So I guess... I'll, we'll just do the other weeks, and then I will let you guys go quickly. So, uh, first off, um, you know what? I did a non situ website. Well, we're going to get two non situ websites this week, because apparently I was not thinking about it. Uh, I was going to Etsy to try to think of a, to try to find another good, uh, Situ website, and I got distracted, and I found a, um, it was a teacup, and at the bottom of it, it says, you've been poisoned, which I just thought was amazing. Uh, so I do have a link down there. It is, it's from Britain, it's in, it's in pounds, um, but as far as I know, it looks like they, they, um, shipped to the U.S., um, so I may ask Santa for that for Christmas, so... And I do apologize for giving you guys two non situ websites this week, but uh, I promise I'll be back on my game next week. Um, for the other actual non situ website, uh, this was a link that my father sent me. So I know not everybody, you know, not everybody has iPhones, but um, if you have an iPhone, it recently, the iOS 16 recently came out. Um, so if you haven't updated, it's something that you can do now. I just did it a couple of days ago. Um, and so what he sent me was a link to, uh, 10 hidden iOS 16 features you might have missed. Uh, it's a pretty good, pretty good and interesting read. So there's some interesting things in there I'm definitely going to try out. Um, so both of those are linked below. Um, if you don't have an iPhone, I apologize. Um, I, I am not one of those iPhone snobs. Um, I don't have a billion and one Apple products. Uh, it's... I mean, I have I have the iPhone. I have my old iPhone, which we use as a um, uh, as a sound machine at night. Yeah, and that's it actually. So, yeah. Um, I, I the only reason, honestly, that I have an iPhone is because that's what well, it was Sprint at the time. Uh, that's what Sprint had for our plan. So I was like, okay, I didn't care whether I got an iPhone or an Android. I just that's what their plan was, so, okay, that's what I got, and so, obviously, um, even though they're still, they're T-Mobile now, and, you know, I've, you know, updated twice now, yeah, twice now, um, they've stuck with Apple, so, that's kind of what I've learned, and, you know, what I'm used to, uh, my husband does have an Android, so, I have a little dealings with an Android, not much, I mean, I'd be willing to learn, if I got an Android, I don't care. That's fine. Like I said, as long as I can do what I need to do on the phone, I don't give a crap as to who built it. That's just me. But anyway, that was kind of weird and soapboxy, but yeah. Um, oh, and a B fact. I almost forgot. I do have a new B fact this, this week. Um, bees have straw like tongues called proboscis, uh, so they can suck up liquids and also mandibles so they can chew. There you go. So. They can suck and chew. Take that as you will. All right. You doing all right over there? Why are you kind of a little twitchy today? You all right? Go ahead and kiss this. There you go. Aww. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. You know, you get some chin scratches in the meantime. Yes, because I know you go for chin scratches. Mm. Okay. All right, so, oh, hey, I know, I must taste terrible, don't I? All right, so, I guess that's going to be about it, not even 30 minutes. So, um, I would expect next week to be longer, um, since I have finished my big uh, Lego project, and it literally kept me busy every day this week, 
um, this work week. Um, I'll have more time to sew. Um, hopefully I'll get a little bit more caught up on some floss tubes. And I will have a lot more stuff to show you next week. So I guess I will talk to you guys later. Bye.